Welcome to Transformative Principle, where I help you stop putting out fires and start leading. I'm your host, Jethro Jones. You can follow me on Twitter at Jethro Jones. As part of the Summer of AI series that we're doing here on Transformative Principle, I am sharing a few episodes from other podcasts on the B Podcast Network. I encourage you to listen to them and check them out and learn more about the shows and the great work that so many people on the B Podcast Network are doing. Here is one of those episodes. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to another episode of Big Ideas and Small Windows. I'm your host, Mike Gaskell, and today we're diving into a fascinating topic that's getting a whole lot of attention in the space between education and technology, and that is AI in schools. On today's episode, we're going to explore how you can invigorate your faculty or colleagues to kickstart the school year by using an ed camp to introduce AI tools to teaching staff and how you can do it in a successful invigorating way. Before we dive into how to facilitate an AI-driven ed camp for faculty, let's first understand the fundamentals of just what an ed camp is in, in just a few terms. So an ed camp is an informal, participant-driven, professional development event designed to facilitate collaborative learning and sharing within the school and regional communities. Now, unlike traditional conferences, ed camps do not have like a preset schedule, and instead participants propose and lead discussions on topics that interest them, fostering an open and dynamic exchange of ideas, strategies, and experiences. A participant-driven approach empowers faculty to engage in meaningful conversations and to tailor their learning to their specific needs and interests. Now, more details about how you can organize an ed camp are listed in an article I wrote about how to design ed camps in for your faculty Add a link in the show notes, and it's actually about how to create a virtual ed camp, but you can do the same thing in person because I wrote that during the pandemic. To paraphrase that article, here's the steps. First of all, you're going to facilitate a theme selection. Start by coordinating with educators to develop themes and gather input through an interest survey. Create a choice menu based on the themes suggested by participants and encourage volunteers to share their ideas for choices that encompass both instructional and technological aspects. This step ensures that the topic addressed are relevant and interesting to the teachers. Now, in this case, AI was high interest, so we were all set. The second part to creating an ed camp is to encourage interactive breakout sessions. Stimulate the ed camp experience by utilizing breakout classrooms. And again, virtually, you could do this in breakout rooms. Instead of the traditional structure that's dictated to teachers, allow them to choose and attend informal breakout sessions by their choice informally. Similar to station-based learning, each breakout focuses on a particular topic, in this case, an AI tool or concept. Participants can engage in Q&A sessions, and they can dig deeper with discussions with their colleague presenters. And the third phase and final phase is to embrace continuous improvement. Now you've done the ed camp. Since professional development is an ongoing process, collect feedback from your faculty about their experience at the ed camp. Identify what worked well and what areas for improvement could have been recommended. Embrace this constructive criticism and adapt accordingly. Evolving based on participants' needs and interests ensures that the ed camp remains an engaging, highly coveted, relevant, and of course, valuable experience for them. They'll want to come back for more. I can tell you because I did it myself. Now, you can imagine that ed camps are highly meaningful and motivating for teachers because they provide a platform for them to take ownership of their learning, engage in relevant discussions, and connect with peers in a self-directed and supportive environment. Ed camps are also wonderful because teachers do not have enough time, and they save time by eliminating traditional preset agendas and allowing participants to directly engage instead in discussions and activities that are so meaningful to their learning goals, fostering efficient and targeted learning experiences. They're so laser focused that this is, again, saving them time and making it valuable 
well time, time well used. So think about it. As educators, we often find ourselves on the front line of knowledge dissemination. But what happens when the concept is something that everyone may not be familiar with? This can be really unnerving for those trying to teach about and around something like AI. That was certainly the situation we face, like so many other school leaders who want to empower their teaching staff with AI capabilities and at the same time help them navigate around some of the concerns and ethical considerations. And I wrote about this in a recent article, which is also linked in the show notes, and I'll break it down here for our listeners quickly. Imagine asking dozens of teachers if they're aware of AI capabilities and only a handful respond confidently. The scenario led me to an inventive solution, engage them in that EdCamp format for professional development. They wanted to know more about it. They just didn't know how to go about that. Now, in this way, they would likely be less intimidated by their peers working alongside them to discover this new tool, integrating into our lives and therefore right into their, our schools and their classrooms. As I mentioned, ed camps are invigorating collaborative learning experiences that provide teachers with a platform to share innovative practices. I'm going to guide us through the journey of how we structured an AI-focused ed camp within a one-hour faculty meeting and how my teacher participants responded based on that structure I provided and now specific to AI. So how did I ensure that this format would be engaging and efficient? Well, I began by selecting AI options that offered benefits to faculty, ironically by a good old fashioned Google search and some experience at a conference that I had attended last winter about artificial intelligence. I guided faculty to explore during their duty times and they also did some voluntarily that I did not require them, but they were motivated by crafting video intros. So these became my lead presenters that were colleagues showing and teaching and working alongside those that were attending. And in these collaborative work sessions, uh, they worked either independently or they worked alongside me, just depending on their comfort level. I gave them that option. Now, this may seem like a lot to chew off in the pioneering stage of something like AI and school integration. After all, most boards of education are still trying to figure out how to adapt or even revise existing technology policies related to AI in schools and used by all, particularly students. That seems to be the big ethical concern at the moment. And understandably so, but like any new technology, and you think about things like Wikipedia and GPS, that was that's essentially an AI, and yet we use and embrace these things. The ethical discussion is for another podcast, but for now, consider that if you're worried about the challenges of introducing AI, especially if you're yourself lack depth of knowledge, and who doesn't after all, it's dynamic and evolving every day. In the lead up to the ed camp, my facilitating teachers and I navigated potential obstacles and worked through how to harness the positive benefits of implementing AI for faculty to drive innovation in my school, to really drum up excitement, and it worked. This included examining research AI tools and technologies that were attractive to teachers, like simple video capture for sharing with students and, and many other concepts. Now, to provide my faculty with more resources, we had them covered. We gave them the energizing opportunity to go out and discover a curated list of AI tools for the classroom. I also discovered a compelling concept by a presenter at, a, at the conference I mentioned previously that I stole, or as educators like to say, researched and then used. In addition to the framework teachers had created and presented to their colleagues, I created something I called Leftovers with Mike. Now, this was just an extra fun session inspired by that concept of effective teaching being all about sharing and adapting good techniques. The Leftovers session included fun and useful additional tools and resources which attracted many teachers to this optional post-session after the regular ed camp. I was really surprised at just how many people showed up to that. So I gave you some concepts about both ed camps and then how to integrate something so new and maybe frightful like AI by embracing that with your faculty. And if you're an educator eager to introduce AI to your colleagues and perhaps curious about the power of collaborative learning, consider the concept of an ed camp to delve into a motivational journey to educate teaching colleagues or staff you're instructing on the uses of AI tools in schools and classrooms or other concepts. But my focus, of course, is on this pioneering new thing called AI. 
in schools. So that wraps up another episode of Big Ideas and Small Windows. I'm your host, Mike Gaskell. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, even the smallest windows can offer the biggest insights. Until next time.